<laughs> hey, what a peeps, it's White Raptor and... Dang, this menu's got some epic music. This is like Mass Effect level epic music. Taking a moment to appreciate it. So the beta for this game actually, I guess, ended yesterday? That's what I thought, because yesterday was the 31st, but today being the 1st of February, so what I'm going to do is have this last moment, this last hurrah, so to say, and I'm going to play it. I'm going to get my final thoughts, I'm going to do some missions, and then going to serve up some justice in the dark zone or maybe not maybe I'll be the instigator for conflict in the dark zone where's my backrest <clears throat> ooh that's better but yeah this will kinda of be like my final thoughts video pretty much I don't know if it's going to be as long as the last one was. The last one was pretty long, and that was actually kind of whimsically done, and should be by my outpost. Yeah. But I want to do the mission over here on the harder difficulty. Because you can get more drops that way. So. Hard. Did they die from the virus? Matchmaking? Matchmake. There you go, I got one right here. But thoughts on the game? It's very solidly put together. There's some polishing here and there that needs to be done, but for the most part, it's pretty solidly put together. I wish I could see a little bit more of the story, but how they're blending the story inside missions and the dark zone together is very well. They did a good job on that. Oh, I just wish I could have seen just a little bit more of the story outside of the just one mission that I did, pretty much, which was the one I'm doing right now. But it's nice that you can go back to different missions and play them on harder difficulties for possibly better loot, because the enemies if you play it on normal, they'll be at the level that the mission is set Another for. Agent has joined your However, team. why am I in the dark zone? Alright, so I need to go all the way over here. So, We've got a rioter takeover at Madison oh, Square Jesus. Garden. The JTF and Sarah oh. were using the site Oop. as a field hospital, but armed hostiles swarmed in. Sweet. So I was in fast traveling, which was also a nice little touch they added that you, you can fast travel, which you kind of need for any open world game. But a big thing that I really enjoyed about this game was kind of just this sense of dread exploration that I had going about. Like there was always that like, someone's gonna kill me, but at the now same they've time, got the med staff as hostages. It was fun we to kind of go around, especially Jessica Candle, the virologist who was running the place. Find her, send her to the base, and clean up what's left. But yeah, like, these guys are pretty much on par with my level. We've got a lot of hostiles inside, Agent. They're holding Dr. Candle and her staff. Very loud. Hold on. We need those personnel back at the base so we can get the medical wing functional. But yeah, they put them kind of on level with you. So any drops you get will be more for your level instead of level 4 drops and yellow drops. Not yellow drops, uh, white drops. You're more likely to get drops more appropriate for your character at this point. So I'll get higher level green drops, maybe some blue drops. But this is also a good way to farm clothes. Which is the main reason why I'm doing this. I can farm some clothes, because I like customization, which... Okay. If you patch me into the security system, I might be able to find candles location. Customization is a big part about any MMO, RPG, or just RPG in general. 
you have to have customization. Pack you have 10. to be able Let's to see have what I can find. characters can you see the create CCTV feed? their own Looks personal like Candle and her staff are being forced to treat their wounded. That's, That's the, the only reason point. they're still alive. And this game does a good job at that. As it far as I've like seen, I'm upstairs, assuming in a there's more in-depth personal facial a lot of these guys. customization but tattoos if you use cover, and you should be able to that. pick them off without making yourself a target. Game is good with tactics. AI isn't super dumb. They'll do s some dumb stuff, but for the most part, they'll try to use cover, and flank you, and throw grenades to try to get you out of comfort zone. I see they just threw grenades. So they got him out in the open. That's very good. That's very smart. Additional hostiles detected. Gives you the ranks, or not the ranks, but the uh kind of what the target is, which gives you the ability to prioritize, which is another good thing. So, yeah, they, they pretty much know what they're doing. They knew what they're doing when they're putting this game together. There are some Additional aspects of the Dark Zone that I dislike. Like, you should be able to kill the guy that killed you without going rogue. Pretty much. Like, you should be able to do that. It shouldn't lock on to people that are just by you. Additional hostiles detected. Because it does that, and that's really bull. That does that. Warning. Agent on your team is down. Requires assistance. No. I gotta try to cover this guy. Let's that guy up. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh. A pistol is a good thing that they have for unlimited ammo, because you always have some range fallback weapon to go on. I mean, it's not the greatest fallback weapon, but a fallback weapon is a fallback weapon for a reason. This guy will not get out of cover. And then, fuck you. Oh shit. I'm on fire, I was out of range for that. Don't give me that malarkey Candle and her staff are still upstairs, stashed in the kitchen at Kobe's. But yeah, there's some aspects about the Dark Zone that I feel they could tweak. Word is that they've really trashed the place. One it would have broken thing my is dad's heart to see it go to hell like this. We used to watch games every there together. Point should have multiple access points. You sh there should not be an area where there's only I think it's one way to get up to it. I think didn't live to see any of this. But like that one I think part, about all the people doing their best to keep There's going. only one part that's who we one do this point for, that you agent. can get up to. Go get and that's absolutely terrible that there's only that one area, because then they just have to sit there with their LMGs and such. To get to Kobe's, you'll have to LMGs pass by some such. contaminated areas. Oh, this guy opened this there up. There used to be plenty of sick there. people being treated there before they got it's shot. Open. So Is be careful. That's yeah, open, okay. Warning. You are now entering run, run, run. a contaminated area. Oh, I died. And he died too. <laughs> uh, anyway. But, yeah, every point, every choke point, every holdout zone needs to have multiple access ways. Because if there aren't multiple access ways, then as can be clearly seen by the footage I've captured, people will become, get up to manhunt status, and then they will just sit there and they will get a big cash reward because they're in an area that is certified as a cheap shot. That unless you have double area. the people to go against them, then you're gonna lose. You will not be able to go back and take them out. Just because you don't have eight guys to go against the four people, which you shouldn't need eight guys to go against four people unless they're really good. When they made rogue or going rogue less of a penalty. Like, the higher rogue you should you go, you should take quite a lot longer to spawn in than someone that died rogue because they accidentally clipped a guy that ran in front of them. Which, they tried to do a little bit with that, where you kind of had to reach a certain damage threshold against a player. But that really sucks if someone walks in front of your sniper rifle, or your marksman rifle when you're trying to take a shot, and they just kind of walk through, and then you'll become rogue because they decide to be stupid. I'm doing 
some really bad aiming at this guy. Yeah. The game, for the most part in the Dark Sun, they did a good job. Just the minute details that they kind of need to fix, like making it more of a penalty to become a hunted person. Keep your heads down and there isn't that big of a penalty. Warning. Hostiles detected. It's gonna blow. And grenade. Nowhere. Hold on. That. This. Come on. Come on. Line up for me. The escort party's taking heavy fire from the roof. They can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. Uh, Dark Zone for the most part was fun, except for the fact that. People would go rogue for no reason. The There'd be teams in a rogue, so it kind of penalizes you if you're not with the team. If you're by yourself, you're gonna kind of have a bad time with this game because you're gonna get your ass completely stomped in the dark zone each and every single time you go in, which is a little unfair. But I think communities will kind of sprout out, like they have kind of sprouted out in this game so far. I don't think I got him though. But there have been communities that kind Alpha of sprouted out here and there. We have an agent on the roof. Other kind the of... Candle made it to your position. Why am I continually disoriented? Your staff just arrived. As soon as the hostiles on the roof are gone, we'll get her across safely. There have been those communities sprouting up, which were like, hey, we're gonna go hunt down some rogues. But a lot of times, you have to know that a guy did not mean to go rogue. Someone just got in the way, which happens way too often. Is Stuff will happen. Like, I've been shooting rogue people, but because someone that wasn't rogue walked in front while I was shooting at them, which they first off should not have been doing anyway, they should not be walking in front of a fire show. That's their own fault. So, I don't know how that could be programmed in where it's like you were being an idiot, the person that shot you will not go rogue because you were being an idiot. But, you know, there's no way to really do anything about that. That's gonna happen a lot. So, you know, it's just, there's no way, stupidity is going to ruin a couple people's days. There's going to be some real BS moments that should not have happened just because someone got a little too trigger happy or someone got a little too antsy. Or someone just really wants to troll you. That's my, I don't, there was a one scenario where I don't know if this guy was on a team, but from what I saw, if... They're trying to discourage, you know, a person in a squad not Morning. being rogue Additional and walking in front incoming. and becoming a meat shield, and causing other people to go rogue. They've done that because there have been a couple times where I've gone rogue because my teammates have gone rogue. Do this real quick. <laughs> yeah, we got him. Like a blue drop. This game is balanced in a lot of ways, and it's unbalanced in a lot of ways. Again, going off of, there are just situations that really, really suck. Oh my god, that guy. So, but that's why they have betas. They have betas to kind of find problems and sort problems out. The problem that needs to be sorted out is there need to be those areas the medic out. safely across. Candle and all staff accounted for. No casualties. We're off to a good start, agents. Wish I could have had your back out there, but I think we make a hell of a team anyway. Uh, when you those... get back to the base, we'll yeah. talk to Candle and we'll see what she can Without do. Without repeating us. myself, I really hope they fix those certain areas in the game that are absolute bullshit. If they don't, then it's gonna ruin a lot of Dark Zone, which is a part of the game that I really like to explore is going into the dark zone and doing stuff there. It's a little fun area to explore. The world itself, it feels alive, has a good openness to it, while still being closed off, and 
closed off areas can be explained like the infection is too great here. Blah blah blah. So it's not like they can't explain themselves out of certain invisible walls. There have been certain Alert. invisible An walls that I haven't really team. gotten into. I'm gonna leave this team real quick. Oh good, they all left anyway. So I need to go to uh, this one. It's nice that the they split up the dark zone into two kind of to two different levels and two different types of currency types. I think that was a good play on their part. Because it allows people to progress into the game at their own pace. And some people are a lot better at a PvP aspect than others are. Others are better at the open world PvE aspect than others are. It's allowing for all kinds of playstyles to still have good gear. Another thing it's allowing for is... Where's this other guy at? Oh, they're over there. Screw that. There's also the fact that the Dark Zone, it's really hard to get a good drop and to get that drop out. Uh, just really bad white drops, it's been hard to get hey, out. Don't be pointing at me. Enemy, or AI can be a little stupid on part of the civilians, but good thing they don't die. As far as I know. Yeah, Dark Zone, it's really hard to get items out because people will shoot you for nothing. So on this you have a crew set up, which I think is a big point of this game is they're trying to push that. Die alone, but united we stand, such like that. Which is very cool that they're trying to do that, but they shouldn't completely f have that be the only way. Which from what I've played so far isn't the only way but it really really helps out because one guy will constantly get his ass beat by four people that want to go rogue. Does this guy need help? Having the random civilians they that you can help to fear for me. is a good point as well because you, that's how you get items and clothes. Just a nice little side. As, you know this world it's well, really cool. There is no sense wasting bullets on me. What's up with you? Uh, here's the dark zone. Or we can go and try to be down some justice. Final thoughts on the game? Come to this. Good game. Really like it. There's some aspects that I hope get changed. Do the all the beta feedback. But the dark zone will be ruined for me if they don't change certain don't things. Don't waste my time. And by certain things, I'm really just mean that one point where, don't ask where this came from. I don't need anything from you. That one point where Biohazard warning. someone can literally just sit up at some place. So, okay, I'm gonna come into this giant manhunt. They're also not at this point yet. So I'm gonna real quick go up here. Warning, now entering dark Because I have a feeling that this is where they're trying to go to. This is the go-to spot. So by going up here, I am trying to... No, they're not going to it. Interesting. I could have sworn that this is the place that they would go to. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So... Let's go hunt these guys for a big bounty. I don't know what some of these guys are doing. Hmm. There's some tactics that you have to employ. Like, right now I'm by myself, so I'm just following them, biding my time until I can get some more people. Gonna do this scan real quick. Didn't catch them in that scan. Which is fine. Gotta be very cautious. Been by my time until more people come by. They know some. They know some place. They know something's up. Where they're going, I actually don't know. So 
try to figure this out. They all disappeared. They disappeared because they used their pulse. Their pulse concealed them from enemy pulses. That's what I'm getting at. Still trying to figure out where they are. Come on, my pulse needs to come back up so I can figure this out. Where did they go? I found the threats here, but that's not what I'm... There they are. So they're trying to pull out? Or they're trying to... Uh... Yeah, they're picking up pull-out plays, yeah. Pop that out. Whoa, what are my dogs doing? Hey, Seriously? Oh my god, are you kidding me with that? Why were my dogs barking? <sighs> that sucks. I need to go check this out real quick. Oh, that was so stupid. They were literally doing it for attention. Uh, anyway, but, uh, what the fuck was that? Like, come on, man. Why couldn't I get that guy? That shotgun should have really blasted him, but it didn't do anything. Shit. Okay, they were at... Yeah, they were at that extract zone. Where's my death location, actually? Never mind, they were at that one. So they should be there, because they did shoot me, so... They should still be kind of on the run, all that stuff. But, you know... I think I'll go rogue as a solo, just to kind of show off how... Terrible, terrible that is. Now, I don't think they're going to be here anymore. They are, I'd be super surprised. Yeah, they're not here anymore. But I need to resolve my death location real quick. Should have honestly gotten the kill. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, fuck you, death location. I've resolved you. You're done. I think they're... Yeah, they're over here. So... Yeah, that's them over there. Yep, there they is. And there's another guy that's either part of their crew or not, but... I need to make sure I keep my cover. Let's get it on. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Oh. Used to be good. See, what sucks is that... How is that guy not dead?
All right, so what's awesome is that because I'm using the AI, I can kind of I'm trying to use the AI to my advantage. What sucks though is that I can't fully use the AI to my advantage just because of the fact that. Okay. What the fuck was that? Are you serious? How the fuck did- I was behind cover and I was still getting shot at. Are you fucking kidding me with that? Oh, that's such bullshit. But the th I got both of them down, but I couldn't finalize it because I couldn't get close enough. Because the fucking- so I guess that was- I mean, as a solo person you could try to use the AI to- go against the enemies, but you also have to watch out, the AI will also shoot you, which really sucks that the AI should not shoot me, they should be shooting the people that I'm shooting at, because I'm not engaging them. Like, that's really, the, the AI should not be engaging me if they're engaging someone else. So, as a solo person, I was able to take down two guys with the help of the AI. Shit. Where are they shooting at? I'm trying to. This would definitely be possibly an easier crew to take out, but I don't know if they're gonna. If they're going, what's going on? Kind of, what are they doing here? All right, so that guy split off from the group, so he's gonna become easy. Pickens. Switching the shotgun. Alright, the shotgun doesn't do as much damage as it honestly should. Alright, real quick, need to go over here. Just beat him down. Get that. Has been neutralized. And you go over here. You do that. Reload my shotgun. Again, should be doing a lot more damage than it actually is, but whatever. Do that. Beat. Rogue agent over down. here. Oh, this guy's down. Look at that. So, that was a team of people that do not know how to play the game as rogues pretty much Morning. now entering a now, contaminated area let's try and get that crew which god damn it does Exiting know how to play rogue the because area. they're always with each other they're very close by so i don't think they're in, st in the same location but they did leave some items behind so i don't know if that's from the ai the ai which does drop items, but it's kind of like a, you know, each person gets a different type of drop from that drop. Which is good, because then it... Wait, I don't want that. No, they didn't. So, need to figure out where they are. I guess over here. Hmm. Well done. Let's get boogieing. Let's see if we can't overcome them with uh, other AIs or with teammates kind of sandwiching them. Come on. Kind of wish I had a different sight. Because this site is nice, but it's not an accurate site whatsoever. Hmm. Maybe I'll switch back to that one uh, magazine I used, because this one does improve my fire rate, which might actually be throwing me off. Don't know. But I'm running low on ammo. Which is not good.
So I'm going to enter the safe house and see if I can get some stuff done in there. Yeah. I'm Rick Palassi and you, you lucky bastards are listening to Wouldn't You Know It. And right, this man I'm going on. Really are, no bullshit. This is the best you're going to find. Catch the green poison like 95% of the rest of humanity. Oh no, you had a good... You got to sit around eating bonbons, watching people you love wither and die and get wrapped in hefty bags. Be seen, yeah. Dumped in a yeah, mass right. grave with no funeral or grief. So we got this manhunt still going on, which we need to take care of. But, uh, actually, this kind of reminds me of GTA a little bit. The bounty system in play. Oh, there they is. Found the troop of people. So I'm gonna kind of shadow them until I find an area of opportunist. So I can find an opportune moment to take them out. <laughs> Keep the shadow going. But yeah, they're being what a good rogue team does is they're sticking together, they're not branching too far, they're kind of watching each other's backs. Uh oh, they're up someplace. But this is an area where multiple people can get to, so. This is not super cheap because there are multiple ways up. Now. Ah, oh, they're doing an extraction. Trying to extract the loot out, so. I. I'm gonna have to pick my moment very carefully about how I take them out. Okay, I get that. I would like that. You've got a bird inbound on your position. Okay, either that guy didn't see me or what? Can I... Chopper is inbound. Can I please? Okay, the shotgun should have taken him down. What the f What the fuck is going on here with this? Seriously? Like, the shotgun needs an upgrade. Because I have the highest shotgun you can get right now. In this game. Chopper is inbound. Alright, they pretty much have all their health back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need to quickly move over here try to provide a flank so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to toss that over there you've got a bird inbound on your position Whoop. cargo pickup underway It sucks that there are too many people for me to effectively take them down. Like, I can't effectively take them down. Fuck it. I can't effectively take these guys down. They know that. That's why that one guy was fucking clapping in front of me. Because they know I can't take them down by myself. Because they're just continu they're going to continually go after each other. Leaving Thumb Genius behind a little bit. Come on, come on. That one guy moved way too soon, though, on them. He should have waited. So that guy... So, you know, that was a dumb player. Like, he moved way too soon. He should have waited for them to... kind of move around a little bit. Separate themselves. Which they did, or we should have waited for, her, but, you know. But yeah, they don't see me as a threat. Like, at all. Which, I could use that to my advantage. Because, due to the fact they don't see me as a threat, I could... Like, my weapon, it doesn't do a super amount of damage to them. Which sucks. Hold up. Quick, just pop them down. Warning. Really? Really? Because that guy ran in front of me. 
Because that guy ran in front of me, I went rogue. That's the type of I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. So I need to wait till I am no longer rogue. But because he ran in front of me, so I hope I'm gonna do that over there. All right, I'm gonna rush. Can they not see me? Like what? The fuck's going on here? Are you fucking kidding me with that? Like the shotgun. I don't know what's going on. I'm tops in that. I don't know if this guy can't see me. Why isn't he shooting me? And I got him all. A rogue agent has been neutralized. And now I'm being shot at. By, t by an enemy. So, did it. Though, I don't know why they didn't see me, so maybe I'm invisible to them. Because that actually happens in this game, where sometimes people will be invisible when they're shooting at you. Which, if I'm invisible, that sucks. But, you know. Let's, let's just say I wasn't invisible. A team can take down another team of rogues if they start getting sloppy. Just simple as that. If a team starts getting sloppy and they're not paying attention, then they'll be taken down. So everyone in this game can be killed. Which is awesome. Can't wait to play this game. Maybe I'll find some people to queue up with as I play through the actual game, which I'm definitely going to be doing on its release in March 8th. So, thank you everyone so much for watching this beta series. I know it was a long one. Damn, it was a long one. Thank you so much. I can't wait to come back to it. So much fun. It's so cool! Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.